Okay, one more time, huh? Okay. Okay, uh, now we're going to look at uh, brush tool, huh? So let's create one new layer. Okay, control alternate shift N. Otherwise, you can just click on this icon. Now, click on the brush tool, right? Okay, ensure that opacity is 100%. Okay, and then click on this uh, button here. You will see the size and the hardness. When it's zero hardness, right? Your edge will be soft. Okay, you have soft edges. But when it's 100% of hardness, you will get a solid edge. Okay, now you should see all these different type of brush, right? Or you can click on this gear icon. There are so many tabs here. Okay. Now, for layer mask or when you want to do some soft uh, blending, right, it's good that you use this type of brush. But when it comes to like facing up some hair, right, you should use the hardness. Okay. Now, you can change color also. But like this one, right, I already draw this, right? I can't change color already. Okay. Unless I go and apply layer style. Okay, so before you actually draw something, you have to pick your color first. Okay, let's try to use. Okay, I'm going to use white color. Okay, now you can go and draw something. Do you see that? Okay. So remember, what is the shortcut key to increase and decrease the brush size? Your square bracket. Yeah, your square bracket besides the character P. Yeah. Okay. You can increase this and decrease this, huh? Okay. And always remember, whenever you are drawing something, right? Please ensure that it's on its own layer itself. Okay. Okay. Now, if you find that your brush, right? It's a bit different from ours, right? You can always reset your brushes by clicking on this gear icon. Do you see this reset brushes? Okay. Remember, it's the same for our custom shape just now. So when you click reset brushes, right? Then, okay, I want to replace all. When I click OK, you see, you should have all the same as mine now. But what if your thumbnail is different from mine? Same thing also, go to the gear icon, click once. Now. This is the how it will be displayed. If you click on large thumbnail, it's, re, it's very useful for old people like me. Okay, it's very big. Okay, or if you uh you have limited workspace, you can actually use small list. You see, this is wow, so long winded, right? Okay, yeah. I'll prefer small thumbnail. Okay, so this is actually customizing your brush view okay okay now uh, you've had already explored with drawing or anything right okay now if you want to erase certain part right you can actually use the eraser tool do you see here eraser tool Eraser tool, okay. Now click on Eraser tool. Okay, same thing. Also, you also have the brush here, okay. Now you can just click once. You see, it will be gone. Okay. You can also control your size, okay. See. So you can create custom image. Wow, so nice, huh? So just now uh, we use eraser, right? Okay, eraser to remove it, right? Okay, now, okay, uh, can you just <clears throat> now if I want to clear the pixel here, right? I can actually uh, use eraser and go on and clear it, right? But I find it's very really tedious. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Do you see that? Okay. Now you can actually. Do you see this magic eraser tool? Yes. It's the same thing like magic wand. Huh? It will try to find a similar pixel, and you pick on pick on it. It will erase for you. Okay. 
or okay, I undo back first. Huh? I want a quicker way. Okay, I just go back to move to first. Okay, I go to edit. Uh, okay, I go to. Uh, I also don't know which one is it already because I only remember the keyboard shortcuts. It's actually Control A uh, to select all. Okay, now you click here, right? Can you hold down Control A? Do you see the entire marquee? Okay. Can you just press delete button? Faster, right? You don't even have to use the magic eraser tool at all. Okay. okay. Now, okay, can you go to brush tool again? Now, can you go to window? Do you see this brush? Okay. Click on it to activate your brush panels. This is a bit different from what you seen just now. Okay, now this is the part that you can play a lot of setting. But before that, can we go to choose one brush that you like? Okay, go to brush presets. This tab is together one. Huh? Okay, go to brush presets. Okay, okay. Uh, if you don't have this right, this will be the preset. But as I mentioned, if you don't have the same as mine, what you can do is you can click on the launcher here. Okay, click once. Do you see reset brushes again? So you can do that step first, huh? In order to get the same as mine. Okay. You can also you see right now I'm using stroke thumbnail for the view. Okay. Now I want to get a butterfly, huh? So it's under special effects brushes. Can you go to special effect brushes? Then they'll ask you, do you want to replace? Okay, if you want, if I don't want to see the previous set, right? I can just click okay. But if I want to maintain the previous set of brush, I can just click a pen. Okay, right now I'll just click okay eh, because I don't want to confuse myself. Okay, now you see I only have this bunch of brushes. I'm going to click on the butterfly, the last one. Okay, of course you can choose other lah. Huh? Up, up to you okay now you have chosen your brush size um, I mean your preset right can you go to brush panel which is just the next tab okay now this is the fun part huh? okay make sure you click on okay let's go to uh, let's go to one by one huh? let's go to shape dynamics you see where's my cursor huh? I click on the wordings this is same like your layer style do you remember that you must click on the wording there only it will show you the setting okay now all this right okay there's a small preview here this is how you look like when you draw your when you use your brush to draw okay now you can go and try okay this is the different size it will give you okay if i put 100 percent right that means the minimum size will be very tiny whereas for the bigger size it will be really big you can see the preview you see this is just a tiny butterfly, but there's a great difference. Okay, unless I reduce it, so the difference is not so great. Okay. Okay, then control all this right. You can try on your own. If you want it to fade, right, it will fade slowly as well. Okay. Now I'm using pen uh, pressure. Huh? We just use a uh, standard setting first. The rest I'll leave it for you to explore. Okay. Now angle, right? Is actually do you see that it's Rotating the butterfly. Do you see that? Okay, you can rotate them. But in this case, uh, roundness is not very really ideal. Huh? You see that your butterfly is like, being distorted. Okay, so I will leave it blank. Okay, then let's go to the next one. Scattering. Okay, this one right is quite uh, good in the sense that you can separate them. Do you see that? Okay, or you want to make it closer. Just drag the slider left or right. Okay, I'll prefer some gap uh, in between. Okay, Miss Sarah's okay. Just click on scattering. Yeah. Okay, you can use the count also. You see, this one will give you a lot, really a lot. Okay. I don't want that to happen, so I give it as one only. Okay. 
Okay, texture, I will just skip. Uh. Okay, color dynamics, right, can be quite useful also where you can create a colorful butterfly rather than just white color. Okay, now let's try this. Uh. Okay, I'm using different color, okay, different setting. Uh. You can try this also on your own. Okay, you don't have to follow my color. Uh. Okay. okay, let's look at tra uh, tr transfer. Uh. This is actually to, because if you have too many things at once, right, it will look very, how to say, it's very cluttered. So sometimes you need to have some natural fit in and fit out. So this is where you can do it. You see, when I use opacity, right, do you realize that some of the butterfly is fading and fading? Okay, make sure you go to transfer, huh? then go to opacity, okay, flow also. Do you see that? Okay. This is more, it will give you more, how to say, uh, natural look. Okay. Okay. Now you are, you are done with this setting, right? Now, if you find that this setting is really good, uh, you can actually save a uh, self preset. But let's try the effect first. Uh. Okay. Now you see, uh, you can actually increase the uh, size also. Okay. But because this is a brush, huh, it's not uh, sharp, okay? It's not good quality one huh, because they are pixels, okay? So bear in mind that you don't create something like this big, okay? <laughs> Do you see that the jagged brushes already? Do you see that? Okay, so now you can, okay, I'm starting like this. Okay, I'm going to try to, then you can let go, okay? You can click and drag and draw something, okay? You can change the color as well. Okay, for example, now I'm going to change to, okay, maybe yellow color. Okay, now I go and drag, right? Because I have the hue and saturation setting. So as I drag, do you see different colors coming out? Okay, just pick one color. Make sure your brush preset, I mean your brush setting, right? Over the color dynamics, you have some setting here. Otherwise, you, you will be one color. Okay? Okay, this is very beautiful, right? <clears throat> Now, remember that whenever you're using brush, right, it's always good that you create in one standalone layer, okay? So if you want to move or do anything, right, you, see, you still can move them. Otherwise, right, when you create on this background, it will stick to this image, uh, this pixel. It's very really difficult for you to separate them later on, okay? So maybe you would like to save file first before it crash again. Okay, now I like my setting, so I'm going to go to my brush again. Okay, but before that, please activate your brush tool. Huh? Okay, click on your brush, and then now you see I'm going to save this preset. So far, this is a setting I've set, right? Okay, can you just click on this new preset, new brush preset? Okay, I'll just call it as okay, just put in my name. Huh? Then I'll just click OK. So next time you see, when you go to brush preset, right? Do you see that you remember my size? It also remember what is my pattern. Okay. So next time you can just use this and do your your fanciful brushes. Okay. Make sure you click on the brush tool first, and then go to the brush tab. Do you see this icon? Click once. They prompt you to name it, right? Okay, then when you go to brush preset, you should see your brush here. Okay. If you have your own brush, right? Is it? Can you can define your own logo as a brush? Okay. <clears throat> or if you want, you can go and download. Uh, there are a lot of free brushes online. Some is really beautiful. You can try to do that also. Okay.
Okay, just one more thing. Eh? Uh, okay, in the exam, they will test you on the uh, red I2 also. The red I2, which is, uh, I think, it should be under. Yeah, under this one, okay? Under the, <clears throat> the spot healing brush. Do you see red eye too? Okay, I just show you a quick one. Huh? For example, this one, there's a red color, right? You can just put, okay, you can just click once. Do you see that the red color is gone now? Okay. okay. Of course, you can apply to the eyes. Huh? This is, there's no human here. Okay, when you apply the eyes, right? you will see better effects. Okay? So for red eye 2, it's very really simple. Just click on the eye, the eyeball. Okay? Can? <clears throat> What's that? This one don't have because you don't have red color. It will only apply to... Because only... Because my part, right? There's a red color there. Red color. Okay? <laughs> it's, okay, never mind. Tomorrow, I'll give you the exercise on the red eye 2. It's very really simple. Okay? Okay. Okay, just save the file first.